by a landslide. A Chinese managed American election. I am Melton, son of a carpenter, married to a carpenter, worked on skyscrapers, Mom Marianne. I am the son of a carpenter, I get to tell parables, I get to tell truth. I also do graphic art, that's what I designed today, Barbara. Come claim your contact image, or you can just bring me your favorite flower. I can put your info underneath your name there with this image, or any of my images, especially the ones designed this year, 2018. It's on a nice GIMP program. I can just put your contact in. I can take a photo of you. And your favorite flower or your car or your friends and design the image around you. But you got to come see me in person because uh, of our hijacked lifelines, our Chinese managed lifelines. Call it whatever you want. You can call it Eskimo evil. That placed a cowardly Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins and currently has the buffoon wrestling guy Trump in there. I don't play favorites. Once again, truth is my favorite. Let me tell you about Tommy. He's the no warm Chinese fella. How did he get to be missing both arms? Brown nosing, being blindly obedient. It's very valued in the Orient, especially in the Oriental unseen business, the Chinese streets. Our fiction. I always tell you where our fiction ends. I assume everything I say on this side until you see me in person, I can tell you in person. I just assume that everything I say over here on this side of this video is to get you to pick up your phone and see that it's hijacked. 424-229-4140, not one nine eleven flight 93 Jake in a decade of asking. That's you calling me. Make that video whatever boring thing you get when you don't get me. Phone ringing, error message, busy signal. You get to leave a message, I don't get it. You won't show up on my caller ID, call up my call playlist, and those hijacking your calls to me. You don't know when else they'll be hijacking your phone. They are worried enough about their crimes to alter phone records covered up. And yes, I think you can guess if your phone is hijacked when you need the fireman, police, and paramedics for political, religious, business reasons, personal reasons, whatever the reason, if your phone is hijacked, your call is stolen. And remember, seconds can count if they're checking your political party or what church you go to, what neighborhood you live in, who you know. Seconds can count. It's going to be just as newsworthy, guys, as me asking for a 93 check for a decade and not getting one. Try to call me up in front of network news anchors and local reporters and tell them everything's fake news compared to your family's lifeline not working and not knowing when else. It won't be allowed to work. And that not being news. Inform those uh, news anchors and reporters that that in itself is news. You're not covering what is news. Everything's fake news. Compared to America's lifelines, in particular your family's lifeline, not working. Tell them that. Then get them weighing in on America's hijack lifelines as you try to call me in front of them with very easily documented censorship. Make that video with your phone or your wife's phone, your girlfriend's phone, husband's phone, son or daughter, grand. Paul, their phone, make that video, post that video, whatever you get when you don't get me, John Melton Brady. You can certify your mail. I'm getting certified mail about the nice three checks or any of my attempts in getting stuff like the Osama rumor that Osama bin Laden is Barack Hussein Obama's dad. You'd think I'd get one comment about that by phone or mail or internet. No. Oh, put the two side by side and check out the eyes. And do not be a hater. You guys with politically correct. Uh, yeah, you, you can't have it both ways. Uh, they're mixing things up all over the place. That's why Hussein, as I call him, grew up in Africa to be closer to his dad during those formative years. They moved on to Hawaii and then on to Harvard and then to be placed in the highest office in the world right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Hussein. As I say, it doesn't matter if the guy's stealing your call to me right now 
or the guy still on your call when you need the fireman place of paramedics you don't see him it doesn't matter if he's in a dirty bed sheet with a straggly beard and all of that it, it doesn't matter if he's that it doesn't matter if he's clean-cut guy went to Harvard and was placed in the highest office in the world at that strategic point in time with all the other choices they have it doesn't matter who's hijacking your lifeline guys it's terrorism politically correct terrorism as I call it you can't say anything about who's saying or anything he did during those eight years because uh, He's of a special type. But yeah, he's Muslim. They don't call him Hussein unless they're Muslim. This video about Tommy is um, about our hijacked demo democratic process. You can't reach me right now. You have no idea who else you can't reach. And it's... Um, your gate's livelihood, the most important thing is your family's lifeline not working. And not knowing when else, it won't be allowed to work. But when you're calling up countless other customers or you're calling up a graphic artist who can uh, drive folks into your business with the imagery I designed for you, it's your gate's livelihood. You, you're calling up a thousand other customers, you get that boring thing, phone ringing, error message, business signal. You get to leave a message, they don't get it, and you don't know. It's your gate's livelihood, and in politics, if you were calling up folks about a decade ago, telling them they're trying to pull a fast one, with all those choices they had placed in our White House, oh, we all know it's one big show <laughs> in the mayor's office, much less uh, Washington. They're trying to pull a fast one. Whatever you do, get the word out that they're trying to put a cowardly Hussein in our White House. Right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins. If you were calling up and you're getting that phone ringing, that error message, that business signal. Yeah. That's how they did that. Make that video of America's Hijack Lifelines post that we the people must be the reporters. We can fire all of them. Our phones, this phone right here, 424-229-4140, making a video. You can make a video of your neighbor's phone not working. Turn around, let them make a video of your phone not working. Post. Now, Tommy is a no-arm Chinese fella. She's my mixing of, uh, it's, it's kind of my style. Funny, offbeat, uh, off the wall, mean, fire and brimstone. You don't have to worry about it till you flat line, till you see that bright light. Oh man, and then you got a, an eternity or something much worse. But uh, Tommy, he was told by his boss to take his right arm into the wood chipper. And he slowly fed that right arm into the wood chipper. The lefty, the left arm saw what was going on with righty. He, he was, Tommy was breaking the agreement. Righty wrote it up himself. They tote stuff for Tommy. They uh, zip up, they button up, they wave, they hit tight, they give the finger, and uh, yeah, they pick noses. They wipe butts and they pick noses. And Tommy was a professional oriental nose picker. I don't know if you've seen them out in public, but uh, I have. And he really misses that. Uh, right now he has to depend upon the kindness of strangers to pick his nose, wipe his butt. And I bet you can guess strangers aren't always kind. Now, he, he lost uh, both of those arms, but he got a promotion. He's bossed a whole lot of folks around. He also met his girlfriend, Rhea. He does a mean snake dance. Now that he's missing both arms. He always liked to stick his tongue out. He's scaly and all of that. And now he's missing his arms. He doesn't mean snake dance. He snaked his way in between Rhea and whoever she was dancing with. Been there ever since. But this occurs at work. Tommy has gotten instructions from Wu to uh, manage an election. 
he sent him the checklist uh, and he went to the polls uh, oh I have no idea when elections are I'm told in November and don't they have them else, elsewhere and it, this can be in November I'm not much into politics I, yeah, I know when they can place a cowardly Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins it's pretty much uh, managed by the wrong people so um, Tommy took his workers uh, and they went to, to a polling uh, place and um, yeah he did his thing had techie as tech guy work on those uh, voting machines that they were sending out all over the uh, city or county or state and uh, it got down to it had the election and Tommy was up uh, late and you know the they were televising it with the news and all of that that fake news that doesn't consider dangerous censorship that affects America's lifelines news and in itself it is news them not doing the jobs get a video of that you're trying to call me in front of them Certif show me certified mail ask him why can't I reach this man by phone why are those who are hijacking America's lifeline so desperate so worried about the crimes that they are altering phone records covered up but we can have video proof of that you got the timestamp on your phone you got the number dialed you turn around your neighbor makes that video of your hijack life on I do that but anyway the news folks are covering it and Tommy's there with uh, Leah and me uh, and uh, they make the announcement it's uh, a landslide of course Techie did his thing it is a landslide and uh, yes the winner is Hussein yeah Wu sent him uh, outdated checklist information it was for a few years back so they'll have to figure that one out uh, and I'm not sure if it's supposed to be you know, like a state or a federal election or what have you but uh, who's saying one by a landslide. Now, um, I'm trying to sort out these things as they go. Handsome ball guy imagery with handsome ball guy imagery. Girls, I have eyes. Uh, skyline imagery with skyline imagery. Because then I have a whole lot of stuff. And you can see what it looks like as tabletop art. Or as cards. Two to a four by six print. Yes, you can have your contact right there. It's very readable. Even if it isn't in the, uh, the video here. They also come four to a four by six print. That's your business being held back. And yes, guys, my fun Tommy, but uh, try to call me up right now, especially those of you who work uh, in that kind of thing, to tell me who I should vote for in the next election. No, I don't know when it's at. And you make a video of America's hijacked lifelines and our hijacked democracy. When they're that obvious, the Great Wall of Chinese evil, you can call it uh, Bulgarian evil if you want. When they're that obvious as to place, oh there's my eye, as to place a cowardly Hussein in our White House right after we got attacked by a whole lot of cowardly Husseins. If something's wrong somewhere, we need to roll up our sleeves and be the reporter. Do that. 424-229-4140. Flower image. Oh. I guess you're going flower imagery. Now, um, that reminds me, I got a 
upload to my contact uh, I got on my Christ Complex to the Gmail, the uh, SkyDrive. Need to update the LA Skyline and the Saints, yeah. But I'm one man working alone, so if you've been looking for that here or there, that's probably the reason it's not there. Come be a disciple, and uh, we can make sure we've got everything covered. Because I had to, believe it or not, it's, I know it sounds unbelievable, but uh, someone in very dire need of lightning bolts. Yes, the Chinese devil. Remember the check and post when uh, the Mormons and Spectrum come to your house, and uh, yes... When um, you're using that Spectrum phone, here are a lot of the in front of ones. Yeah, that's your lifeline, guys. Call up Spectrum. Say, why isn't my phone working as I try to call John Milton Brady? When else will your phone not work for? Them? They spend a lot of, they try to, they rope you in. Because I'm paying almost uh, as much for the, uh, bundle with all three the internet the cable and the phone watching my pennies I'm uh, spending almost as much on that as uh, the bundle is to get the phone too if you're spending money for that nice landline and you can't reach me it's not worth anything you don't know when else your phone won't be allowed to work so make a video of it being hijacked post Come see me in person. And yeah, check and post five in front of all these folks in front of. And yeah, this is a, a military motto one. I'm up way too late, 17 minutes. But I'm trying to organize. I'll, I'll do a little more next time. I've got the big five from Spectrum because of antics from yesterday. When every time you turn your phone on to make a video of your tabletop art or a Tommy and uh, the hateful people with their decibel law breaking fleet next door, which is very small fleet, drive past, look at the parking lot. It shows how intense some of that is. That's why I say make a video of your Spectrum Lifeline, your Lifeline that you pay Spectrum for. Make a video of being hijacked as you try to call me. Post. Now let me show you my eyes. I already showed you in a few of those. That are um, a change in. Doing a little genetic carpentry if you know what's going on. By all means, come tell me in person. Oh, don't laugh. Uh, if it's on a Chinese checklist as I refer to them, they'll put who say in there, uh, elect him to dog catcher. If you can, uh, dark brown circles, the way my eyes were most of my life. Started changing 96, I noticed the, uh, um, the dark brown. I noticed the change in my vision immediately. And I know it's a small change in color, but uh, for most of you, especially even now, you're looking at me, you're probably going to see until you get up closer, you're not going to see the eyes. Maybe not even, to, even until I put a flashlight in them. But this is what they look like, one of the few photos that I can get to turn out. And the smaller brown circles, this is March 2013, this is early 2014, I believe. Slowly but surely this dark brown circle was disappearing. It's gone now. This part here is brown Around the the black lately, but at times it can be all whitish If you know what's going on with the eyes You're a good doctor. Uh, you want to tell me what would speed up the process come see me in person Realize that my doctors Can't talk about what I call my stigmata eyes on the sound called to Mary. Put a little color in my uh, imagery. My doctors can't talk about the stigmata eyes. 
But to put things in perspective, they can't talk about those ninth rejects either. As I always say, good folks aren't going to have a problem with you. Showing them your family's hijack lifelines, America's hijack lifelines. Anyone who gets angry, who have a story to, has a story to tell, uh, they just might uh, make the best checking post in five videos. Come see me. Tell me a great idea for a Tommy. I'm one man working alone and I've got uh, 365 uh, days a year to fill them with. So if it seems kind of, you know, off the cuff, is that the phrase? Then, yeah, it is. Come be a part of that. Uh, Tommy, parable, parables other than Tommy. Ask and answer Jesus' question. That's a sigmata one there. Uh, I can call it one. I have my son for all primary. It's genetic, comes from the inside, same as the eyes. Doing a little genetic work on the spiral staircases. But uh, that has nothing to do with your phone, does it? Ask and answer Jesus' question. Is Barack Hussein Obama a terrorist? All soldiers, you protect America. Like a video of the military base's phone not working. As you try to call me. Here and worldwide. Firemen, police, paramedics, you too. Make that video. Whatever you get when you don't get me. You can't reach me right now. You have no idea how many in your neighborhoods, your cities, can't reach you or can't reach you in a timely fashion. So make that video, post that video. And yeah, come tell me what that place needs. Jesus is a Michael house to inspire the future and the present to greatness with. That's a religious censorship with 9-11, attack from the outside, cowardly Husseins, and also the attack, politically correct terrorism, attack from the inside. Hijacking our presidency. That's a, a religious censorship. It's related to that. That's a religious name, Hussein. When you can't call me up to tell me what you believe, Religious censorship. You, it doesn't have to be anything you've heard in church. You can't reach me to ask what I mean by Jesus is a mag of the house once again. Religious censorship. You can call an opportunity house, that place to build. Once you tear down the great wall of evil, it has just me and all of my imagery, me and our life. Tear down that great wall of evil, let's get started on those thousand points of light to inspire the future and the present to greatness with. Call an opportunity house, it's opportunity for the world. But I have to tell you, Jesus is a Michael House because there will be a test at the end. I hear it's uh, pass, fail, or purgatory. 